Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. This is just a quick one on valve clearance adjustment on the 1KD FTV. Now, there's a lot of other engines, both petrol and diesel, that are very similar. Some have got shims, some have got adjusting screws, some you've got to replace the buckets and other systems, some are hydraulic, whatever. So, this is the 1KD FTV. You've got to replace, they're called valve lifters. Some people call them buckets, whatever. So, this is the item that sits over the top of the valve on top of the head. It sits over like that. They're quite simple to get out. You can usually grab them with your fingernails like this, get a grip on it and pull it out. If not, you might get a pair of, um, I don't know, multi-grips or uh, some sort of, you know, something that's just grippy. You know, you don't want to damage it. They wear pretty well. You know, you can you can see there's some bit of a wear mark on the side, but it doesn't really make any difference. Same on the top, they're as good as new. Obviously some decent material. So you can reuse them. Um, of course, the book says, you know, when it's out, that it'll replace it and it tells you to replace it with a new one. It's up to you whether you want to reuse it or not. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, if you collect them from ones you replace, as we have here, you can look at the numbers in them, reuse them. Now, this is the procedure. So what we're going to pretend, we're going to imagine, we're getting a bit of an imaginary. We've got this 1KD engine there. It's very rare that any valve clearances are out, but let's pretend we've got one out. We're going to pretend it's one on the inlet side. And we're going to pretend that it's 0.13 of a millimetre. So the minimum, you can have a look here that on the intake valve, the minimum, well, it's meant to be 0.2 to 0.3. So they set them up at 0.25. So anything under 0.2 is under. So we're going to say it's point, so it's 0.13 of a millimetre. So that's telling us, look, you know, it's 0.7 of an ounce. So what we need to do is you need to first double, triple check all your clearances and decide if you're going to replace the whole set and make them all perfect or whether you're happy with the rest. They're all in within spec, so you're just going to replace the one because these are... You know, 30, 40 bucks each, depends what mood they're in and whereabouts you are, where you're buying them from. But, uh, so it can get expensive for a whole set. So we're replacing one, that's what we've decided. So 0.13, how did we work out what one it is? So we've checked all our measurements, we've taken our timing, and the whole procedure, that's another video, but timing belt off, cams out and all that sort of thing. And we've got the bucket out, the offending bucket, and we've taken it out, and we look down there, We look down there, and we see, what number is that? You can see that's a number 39, right? Okay, so we've got a number 39. So we go over to our chart here, and look, in, in factory where they build the engines, they've got, you know, 39, 38, 37, every number. With replacement ones that you buy from Toyota parts, you can only get uh, even numbers. So 36, 38, 40, 42, for example. So we're going to... 39, we're just going to then convert it. We're going to pretend that's a 40, right? So a 40 is obviously a little bit, uh, which way does it work? Now, remember, you've got to get a thinner one to make your clearance bigger and a thicker one to make your clearance smaller. In this case, we want to make our clearance larger. So we've got to get a thinner bucket, which means we've got to go lower in numbers because they get thinner as you go down in numbers. So the 40, it's going to end up being, you know, something like a 30, let's say, for example. But let, let's work it out. So... If it was a 40, okay, which is next to a 39, 0.1 difference. If it was a 40, a 40 is a little bit uh, thicker than a 39. That, if so, because it's thicker, that's going to make your valve clearance tighter again. So it's going to be a 12, right? What am I just saying? So it's not going to be a 12. It's going to be a 12, 0.12 of a millimetre um, instead of 0.13 because we've put a a thicker bucket, if you know what I mean. I hope you follow what I'm saying. So I've rounded it from a 39 to a 40. So instead of being 0.13 of a millimetre, it would have been 0.12. Then we're going to count backwards from 0.12. I want to set it up at 0.26. So it's just above that middle area. Remember, 0.2 to 0.3. So we're going to set up at 0.26 because usually they close down. So we're going to count from 40 backwards. So if 40 was 0.12, we said... 38, 36, 34, it's going to go like this, so 40, 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, 0 0.20, so a 32 would be the minimum, but we want to go three more, so 0.22, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, so this is telling me to get 0.26, I need a number 26. And number 26 to get 0.26. Is that a coincidence or what? Does that even sound right? 
That is crazy. So we're going to double check it because it gets a bit crazy and there's a lot of numbers involved. And this is why you went to maths at school, right? And I wasn't bad at maths, but I'll tell you what, this is this does, you know, it's worth double checking all your measurements and get everything right. So let's start again. 39 gave us 0.13 of a millimetre, right? So if it was a 40, it's a smidgen thicker. So that would have given us less clearance. Remember, it's opposite, right? So it's a little bit thicker. So would have, a 40 would have given us 0.12. So we need to make that thinner by going this way. Right? I'm just thinking as I say it. We need to make it... Because I've got to get it right for you guys. I'm not going to give you the wrong information. And you can have a look what I'm doing. So, you know, if I'm wrong, you better put a comment. Say, hey, man, you got it wrong. Quick, you know, change it. Right? We need to go down in numbers to get a thinner lifter to make our gap larger. Makes sense? Thinner lifter, more clearance. Okay, so we'll do it again. 40 was 0 0.12, so 0 0.14, 0 0.16, 0 0.18, 0 0.2, 22, 24, 26. So I'm saying we need a number 26 lifter, okay? Number 26, we can look through all these. I can tell you we haven't got a 26, that's bizarre. A 26 is bizarre. All the most common numbers are either side of 40, you know, they're 35s to 45s, whatever. I'll show you some here, right? Let's have a look. That one's a 41. It's a 50, a 41, a 35, a 52. What have we got in here? A 50, 45, you know, 47, 45. You know, they're the common things, right? So that's how to work it out, guys. Basic sort of thing. So you might need to copy this little chart. If you, have, if you buy the injector kit off me and you're checking your valve clearances and you find one out or two out, if it's only a little bit out, look, give me a ring is the way to do it. You've, brought, you've purchased the injector kit off me, give me a ring, I'll back you up with the right advice on whether you should replace them, how many, and let's work it out together. All you've got to do is get these out, give me the number, and we can go through this together and work it out. I'm going to put this video up. It's actually for someone. You can have a look at it, see if it makes sense. And he's going to have to go ahead and order a number 20, call up the local Toyota dealer and order a number 26 lifter. The other thing to think about is if they say, oh, you know, uh, we haven't got any of those in the country, that's three weeks from Japan and you want to get the car going quicker, you can also go, well, you might go to a 24 or a 22 or a 28 or a 30 close enough, if you know what I mean. So if it brings your valve clearances up to 0 0.2 or 0 0.22, 24, to anywhere in that range, if you know what I mean, like... I'm saying 0.26 is probably ideal, maybe even 0.28 if you knew it was going to close, but you don't want to over adjust it too much different to the others as well. The others are probably going to be close to 0 0.2, 0 0.22, I'm not working on the vehicle, so let's keep it close to that and just aim for about the 0.25 either side of that. So I'd suggest whatever I said before, I have to check my own video, I'm pretty sure we said 26, didn't we? We said 26 to get 26, that was the whole coincidence of it all, crazy. You could also go a 28, to be 24 right so then you'd have 0.2 so you can have a 26 is ideal if they can't do that i'd go for a 28 if they can't do that i'd go for a 24 if you can't do that probably go for a 30. see how awesome this information is whatever you're doing just hit subscribe and turn the bell on because i don't know where else you're going to get it it's clear concise accurate awesome info it's relative to other engines as well it's pretty simple stuff all right guys thanks for watching have a nice day see ya